Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 3. D never stop tomb raiding. <laughs> uh, I am a little tired. I'm recording this after having come home from the gym. And I just started doing that routine again this week. And I'm getting back into the, f the feel of it. I really need to. My health can always use more exercise like my, my routine could always use more exercise so I'm just recording there and I might be more exasperated than usual if this game gives me guff let me just put it that way but it's okay we're rounding the corner to the end of this game some might call this game a long journey with a satisfying destination Personally, I don't care what happens at the end, because no matter what, it'll be like a mercy flush. So. I'm waiting for the fire to reignite, because the fire reigniting is what killed me last time. And even though I have a save right before this part, I would really vastly prefer to just get it right the first time. I feel like I got really impatient when waiting last time, and I was just like, fuck it, it's not coming back on. And then it came on the second I jumped. You know, so I'm trying really hard to avoid that impatience here, but it is without exaggeration been over a minute and a half, and it's still not gone on. I'm starting to think it's pressure sensitive or something. Okay. Well, good news is it's not time. Bad news is we have yet to decipher the enigma that is this one particular platform in Tomb Raider 3, The Adventures of Lara Croft. And unfortunately, I'm not convinced he ever will. I'm not that confident in my cryptography skills. But we'll have to just figure out a way. It didn't seem like it went on when I jumped on it, at least, you know. <laughs> it didn't look like it was activating, but what do I know? Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's let's just demonstrate that I in fact have a safety save at this point. You know, unfortunately, this is the last of the four elements. I know we still have two secrets left, but I'm hoping the last stretch of this level will not be quite as harrowing. Let's say harrowing is the word I would use. It's been inconsistently harrowing too, like. Like, some of these sections have been bad, or good, let's say. Let's start with good. Let's start with the positive. Some of these sections haven't been too bad, and then some have been the water section. You know, the water section. Yeah, what the hell? Why isn't it... Is it because I fell from the ledge? Is that literally what it is? Oh my god, I think that might actually be what it is. I feel like you, you, I, I feel like a buffoon, but like, is it really just that if you hang from the ledge of that platform, it activates? Is that to discourage you from doing any jumps where you grab the ledge? I get the game designer, like, logic in that, but what is the conveyance? Like, there has to be some way the player could fairly and adequately know that is a cause-effect relationship. And I frankly don't see it. You know, like, I really and truly do not see how I would ever, oh, is it, wait, I'm not, what? Oh, <laughs> I was in a weird position where I wasn't on fire? Oh, okay. I'm starting to just not know what to do now. Now it's just, it's just, is it, is it pressure sensitive? Oh, I'm so glad I have a save here. I won't lie to you. I, the save is going to save my sanity. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm keeping all this in. When was the last time I edited something out of a segment? I'll wait. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is the authentic experience. Every time, every time I say I'm not editing something out in this, this Let's Play or series in general, that is my excuse. Okay, okay, fuck that health kit. It is so a trap. Speaking of traps... Okay, we're finally, we finally, why is that statue, the fuck, it like shakes its head, okay. Anyways, now we're finally here. Uh, this is a room with some fire breathing statues, and allegedly there's a switch that will turn them off. I did some sneak peeking to see what it is that's happening. Um, my question is, can I stay on the platforms? 
Uh, you'll need to jump across the series of three invisible platforms without getting barbecued. Here's one way. Take a standing jump from the edge of the walkway to the first invisible platform. Okay, so it looks like the fire breathing does, in fact, cover the platforms. Okay. Um... Okay, so it looks like the plan is to consistently standing jump and then hang from... Can the camera please, like, just let me exist? Like, to hang and then pull up at a specific time. Let's try it. Oh my god, I can't even see anything. Okay. This is kind of hard to time, I won't lie to you. Okay, uh, so grab the edge of the third while hanging traverse to the left corner. Are we jumping to the right? Uh, watch the flames and pull up just before they go out. Turn right and take a running jump. Oh, you have to do a running jump? Uh, oh, that sounds bad. I really dislike that, but whatever. Oh, oh my god, I made it. Okay, cool. So now that should stop the statues from doing flames, I think. No? What do you... It just stops that one. Okay. I thought it stopped all of them. Whatever. Alright, so when the flames go out, take a standing jump to grab the third invisible platform again. Alright. I mean, sounds good enough. See, I don't hate this... It is a little, a little mean, I guess, but, uh, oh, we have to go, we need to go to the left side, that's right, because we need to running jump. Uh, okay. okay, so, we want to pull up as the flames go out. Okay. I was really worried because I didn't time that right. Uh, I don't I don't hate this puzzle though. At least it's conveyed. If anything, I actually think this is one of the better puzzles. Or maybe not puzzles, but just obstacles in general in the game. Cause it does require you to not only have good problem solving, but also like reflexes and timing. Maybe I'm just feeling very charitable and generous right now, but I don't hate this. Again, the bar is in Hell's basement for, like, puzzles in this game. But, hey, we take what we can get. I'm surprised that running jump worked. Because I kind of, like, get scared of being on that platform for too long. Whatever. I also like that it's, it's uh, an invisible platform thing. Because usually invisible platforms in this game have been kind of bullshit or otherwise just difficult to see. I feel like you get a really good view of it if you just look ahead here. And you can even see the first one, like, when you run into the room. I will say it's a little annoying to view the flames as, as you're hanging, but it's whatever. You, you're kind of used to it by this point. I think if you've been playing this game, <laughs> you know, like... It's part of the experience, having weird, like, camera concerns. Okay. I was way too slow. Just, just kill me. I think I need to be... I think it's not necessarily that I was too slow. It was more that I was... I'm not pulling up soon enough, I think. The problem is, it's kind of hard to tell when the hitbox has gone away for the flames. So. I'm still not crazy about how if you're on fire, that's it. And I mean, maybe that's true to life, but this is true, Raider. There was a dinosaur in, like, the second or third level. You know, I don't care about realism. Give me, like... You know, instead of, like... Instead of fucking flares, they should have just turned up the brightness by default. And they should have given the player... Like, fire blankets or something. Okay. Like, fire blankets or something. Like, something that puts out flames. Like, maybe just, like... Uh, I can't think of, like, a liquid that would help douse fire that isn't just water. I, I guess maybe you could just have, like, a portable canteen that you could fill. I don't know. Some mechanic that just makes fire 
fire less like that's it one and done you know like uh i guess to be fair you know the series has usually been good about giving the player like pools of water or whatever uh i don't know okay i really really still hate that platform I don't know, like, I'm just thinking back to, like, the final boss of Tomb Raider 2, and it had those fucking, those pools of water for the fire dragon's attacks. It's like, that was probably as best as you could get for a dragon fight that breathes fire. Because, like, it still did a lot of damage if the fire hits you, but at least you could, like, kind of get some time to regroup. You know, like... Okay, hopefully this is quick enough. Oh, okay, just barely. <sighs> I do I do still like this. I just I don't know. Okay. Quickly now. Oh, okay, good. We made it. So now, Stella says, do not rush in. There's a swinging burner inside. To get past it, either carefully walk, run, or crawl your way around the edge of the room, or stand in the doorway on either side of it. And as the burner swings... Okay, whatever. It's a burner. Um... <laughs> so... Take a standing jump onto the pedestal. Okay. Cool, last mask. Last mask. So now exit the door on your right. It's time to close quickly when you step off the pedestal. We're getting back in the bed. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, we're just going back. Awesome. So I'm just going to scroll down to the guide. Where is the secret number two? God, there's still so much left. Oh my god. Alright, when you have all four oceanic masks. Okay, here we go. I just wanted to... Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Alright, so... Now we're going to get secret number two. But I have no idea what that entails. Uh, is it this way? Uh, there we go. Okay, so now, uh, do, 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 when you have all four oceanic masks, you can place them in receptacles around the base of the pillar of light, or you can wait until you get the second U of the key as well. You'll need all these items to finish. What if I just put them in now? Fuck it. Hello? I might as well. I'm right here, you know? Hooray. I was actually thinking, like, maybe if I'm lucky in the last levels, like, not too long, I can, uh, finish this game in a session. I don't think I'd finish it in one recording, like, one uploaded segment, but maybe if I, like, power through Because I do have a lot of free time right now. At least, like, I have, uh, a good, like, three or four hours worth of free time. So if I really felt like it, if I get a wild hair up my ass, I could really just sit down and, uh, and do it, you know? But, I don't know if I'm in the mood right now. <laughs> I guess it really depends on where the end of an hour puts me. Yeah, we still got another 45 minutes before I need to consider the next segment, so. Uh, return down the stairs to the room where you killed the wasps earlier, okay. So my question is, oh, it's right there. I was about to say, where the fuck are the stairs to go back up to go down? To get up to get down. <sighs> Alright, it's this stairway, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, uh, now what? Uh, if you hold the switch in the earth area, there's now a movable block in the middle of the floor. Push the bock once. The bock. I said bock. Push it once, climb on top of it, and jump to grab the ladder. Climb up to the opening and enter the room. Carefully run past the swinging burner and crawl into the alcove to get to secret two. Alright, and another save crystal. I love that. 
How many do I have left? Like three save crystals? So this will be me. Let me check real quick, just for shits and giggles. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Can I just standing? I can. Didn't really matter. Yay, so... So, only secret... Only secret number three left after this. Is that, I don't know if the last level even has secrets. I'm expecting it to just be, like, a final boss level type thing. Um... Hello? There it is. I was waiting... I was waiting for it to, like, light. Okay. They really love these swinging burners, don't they? Like, the game designers, I mean. <laughs> They're certainly using them quite a bit, but whatever. Who am I to complain? Uh, just to be a luxurious fat ass, let's use that. Actually, no, let's get out of here first. Uh, let's get out of here, then use the save crystal. You know? I, I, I don't really need the save, but I might as well. It's not like I'm getting bonus points for not using a save crystal. This isn't fucking Resident Evil. Thank God for that on some level. <laughs> oh, I still haven't gotten my A rank in Resident Evil 3, and I'm not sure I ever will. Unless I even mention the foul beast that is Code Veronica X. Um, where am I going now? Uh, now follow the hallway to the left when facing the movable block. Uh... With the when facing the move along, seeing burners behind you. Okay, I see. Pull the switch to open the gate and enter the next room cautiously. So what you're saying is to save after I pull open, where after I pull that switch. That is what you've communicated to me. Uh, where is, where is the switch? Hello. There it is. <sighs> okay. Alrighty, let's 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 drop a save. Um, <laughs> let's open the screenshots for this. Uh, do, 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 do. Advance far enough just to the first gate, so gate opens, releasing the first mutant. Alright, well, let's get the rocket launcher ready. Try not to go beyond the two low ledges on the right and left since this triggers uh, the remaining mutants. I can wait. Yes. Yeah, whatever. How are you not dead? Okay. <sighs> so now, I'm just gonna glue my eyes to the guide. Uh, do, do, do. yeah, it takes three or four rocket launchers, three rockets or four grenades to kill it, whatever. Um, run into the middle of the room, onto the tile. Uh, yeah. What? Okay, I'm just gonna fucking try them at once. Fuck it. I'm not that scared. I would like for them to exist, though. Hello? There you are. Can the camera, like, please find my house? Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize I was that low on health. I mean, I knew I wasn't, like, doing well on health, so I was figuring, like, I could take one more hit. Clearly, I uh, overestimated my resiliency and endurance. Which is how I say I died by being careless. That is really what that means in the, in the reality of everything. <sighs> okay. Well, at least, at least we have a save literally right here. Oh man, the harpoons. Suck my fucking dick. Sorry, that was rude. I should say cock instead. Because cock is a better way to phrase it. Suck my fucking cock. 
I can wait. Any day you feel like it. There you are. The camera really just wants to ruin my day. Okay. So we are officially out of rocket launcher ammo. Which is fine by me, honestly. It served its purpose. Okay, so... Here, let's see. Uh, Where do I go now? Okay. Um, pull the switch in the left alcove. Okay. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, I see a block right there. The switch is uh, somewhere here. Somewhere. Uh, hello? Oh, I think I see it. There we go. This raises a platform above the graystone block in the mutant room. Okay. I gotta say, mutants are the least cool in this game. You know, like, at least last game had, like, those weird-ass yeti things. And then the, the Atlanteans are honestly kind of just untouchable to me. They were weird as all fuck, but the mummies in, in Egypt were scary. Anyways, um, so we're doing this, I'm onto the block, pull up, and then standing jump. Okay, follow the upper ledges around. Okay, uh, am I supposed to be able to jump this? Just barely. Alrighty. And then looks like there's an opening you crawl through here. Alright, uh, what is this? Uh, room with switches and hinged ledges. Of course it can't ever be easy. How much of this level is left? Oh, Jesus. Seems like secret number three is... Oh, it is the last secret of the game, though. Uh, it's at the very end. Just for shits and giggles, how long is the last level? Uh, not very long. I... Probably could, in theory, really finish this out if I wanted to in this session. And I won't lie, it's fairly tempting. <sighs> uh, so anyways, uh, so there's going to be, it looks like, a, a diagram I have to refer to. Ah, oh, Christ. Um, <laughs> approach the first swinging burner, stand to either side, and jump or crawl past it. If you crawl, don't hesitate under the burner or Lara will catch fire. I kind of feel like I should just jump then. Son of a fuck. I should have jumped from way further back. Oh, I should have jumped from further back. Whatever, whatever. At least the mutants aren't very hard to kill, you know? At least there's that. I think I think I might actually get that wild hair up my ass and finish this game in this session. Uh, it really does feel like it's just right there. And it would make recording... It, 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 I have all the free time now. I might as well finish the game today. So Unless something horrible occurs to my recording setup, I'm probably finishing it in this session. Hey, no damage. Nice. Can I just... I'm gonna just wait. Do you mind? It's kind of a shame, too, because these aren't even, like, the mutants... That the, the workers turned into. Unless I'm mistaken. You know? Like, those guys were at least a little more interesting. This is just like, oh, do do the centaur from the first game, but worse. Oh, whatever. At least I took a lot less damage that time. 
honestly, going into the series, I had no idea it would be so fantastic. And when I say fantastic, I mean literally in the sense of, like, fantasy. Like, as in mythical, like, maybe not fantastic, maybe more like, it would just be so... I, I didn't expect it to have fucking, like, centaurs and dinosaurs in it. You know? I guess, to be fair, I had heard something about, like, from someone who played the game, they mentioned, like, getting stunlocked by, like, some dinosaur or something, but I wasn't really sure what they meant by that. So I figured maybe I... Maybe I, it would make more sense in context, like, maybe it'd be a Jurassic Park situation. But no, it's just... It's really... It's really just, like, this, you know? And I'm not even really complaining. Not at all. I think it really lends itself to helping the game stand out when you have these moments, but... Anyways, I'm assuming we're jumping over there. I'm gonna get away from this a little. Um, hmm, turn left and take a running jump to the ledge with two statues behind the second swinging burner. If you start to run when the burners head furthest to the left, it'll swing away by the time. Okay. Boom. Awesome. That's the timing I would have expected anyways. So, crawl into the alcove and pick up Uzi clips and flares. Sure. As if I'll fucking need them. I've used the Uzis like maybe three times in this entire playthrough. And uh, I'm not looking to make it four. Let's let's uh, let's just stay as we've gone. So where do I go from here? Am I running to that ledge? Um, uh, take a running jump past the swing, but back to the end. Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused. Well, take a running jump past the swing, back to the end of the first. Oh, we're going back. All this was just for that. I thought this was progress. Whatever. Um, it kind of has to be angled, it looks like. Okay, whatever. Um... Okay, can I... Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm not going for that again. Uzis and flares, like, waste my time a little bit harder. I honestly thought that was just progress, but whatever. Ugh. Anyone else want to kill those fucking mutants again? It's whatever. The good news is, with the secret at the end, I kind of can just, like, blitz through this next sequence of platforming and combat or whatever. And not really have to worry too much. About missing something. Fuck you and fuck you. How dare you hit me? How fucking dare you? Whatever. Anyways, nine years later. It is kind of nice that they're timed in the sense that like, they stagger them so you're not overwhelmed. But these guys aren't very difficult to kill so it kind of feels like a waste. I guess, to be fair, it's to make sure that if you only have the pistols left somehow, you're not completely, like, demolished. Which is a rare, rare, like, courtesy slash, like, I don't know what the word is, like, uh, con consideration for the dev team of this game to make. Also, I did not do very well at not taking damage there, but whatever. Like, it's, it's, it's uncharacteristically, like, considerate of them. Let me put it that way. So. <sighs> Can't wait to finish this game and let everyone know how much I did not like it and borderline hated it and how exhausting of a fucking playthrough I had. As if YouTube hasn't already seen it. <laughs> no one watches this shit, so thankfully it's only for my records. Imagine if I watch my own Let's Plays, though. What kind of freak, narcissistic egomaniac would I have to be to do that? Usually this is where, like, a punchline would be set up to say, like, I've been doing this already. But I genuinely have not. Mostly because, like, I don't know. It's not even that I, like, it's not even that I don't think I'm funny or entertaining. It's more just, like, I've already seen it. I made it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who wants to watch a, a movie they've already seen multiple times? I had to watch it twice. Once while making it, and then once while... Uh, okay. <sighs> Anyways, uh, this is, I guess, a good enough time to split the segment. Here, I did us all a wonderful favor. And saved us, like, the minute and a half or so of me killing the mutants and getting back to this part. 
No guarantee that I survive this jump, though. Okay. So we're going to take a running jump here. Kind of an awkward angle, but I think we can do it. The problem is, can I land on that? Let's find out. Uh, yes, I can. Awesome. Um, crawl in and pull switch number one. This doesn't appear to do anything first, but you notice a change after the next switch. Okay. Crawl back out and take a running jump to the stone ledge ahead on the right, opposite the entrance. Okay. Imagine if this is the first Tomb Raider you ever played. My god. That's like, what a, what a fucking nightmare. Okay, I probably shouldn't have tried to grab a ledge, because that would have killed me if it was ever so slightly farther away. Uh, crawl into the alcove and pull switch number two. This lowers ledge A under the ledge with two statues. And if you already r r pulled switch number one, it raises ledge B and C. You know, ledge B and C. Uh, directly below. Exit the alcove, turn right, and hop down the stone steps onto ledge B. Okay. Uh, I kind of see it. I kind of ledge C it. Okay. Alright, um... Wait, why is it pulled in? Excuse me? Is it supposed to be like that? What? It doesn't- that doesn't look right. Uh, here, that genuinely does not look like how, oh no, I guess it is supposed to be like that. Um, turn right, hop down to ledge B. Uh, oh, I have to fall down this. Okay. There's more to fall down. Okay. Okay. I thought this was the end and I was like, where in fuck do I go? But So now we're going to running jump here. And, uh, now what? Take a standing jump down to the rectangular ledge. Stone ledge in the corner. And we're falling down. Turn right. Back up to the wall and take a, s wait, wait, okay. Turn right. Back up to the wall. Take a standing jump on land. To, to 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 land on the raised block near switch three. Uh Okay. Oh. This was the block I think I wasn't supposed to land on. Man, whatever. I hear him. It's whatever. Like, all you can do is annoy me. What am I doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for this. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, I literally just don't give a fuck. There's water. Do I go in the water? Um, this, oh, it's, okay, never mind. I guess the swarm is infinite in the PS1 version. Allegedly, Stella says, so whatever. Um, wait, what's where's the switch? What? There's apparently a switch I have to pull. Um, does anyone see a switch? Do oh, it's right there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm glad giant wasps were on the menu here. Alright, so now we go back up and then, uh... Come onto the block and then we just stand each jump, okay. Pausing now is crucial because of the fucking wasps that are encroaching upon my lifestyle. Uh, turn around, take another standing jump to grab ledge. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever, bro. Okay, turn around, standing jump. Okay, switch number four. Uh, oh, when you pull the switch, the ledge collapses quickly beneath you. So we got a side flip. There we go. 
How were you supposed to know that? Uh, you weren't. To land on the right thing, you just blah, blah, blah. Oh, she only loses a small amount of health. It doesn't kill her. Okay, I thought that would be like, oops, you're dead. Uh, switch number four also rages ledge F. So, so are we going back to... I think I know where we're going back. Okay, whatever. I, I think I have an idea of what we're doing. I'll figure it out. First... I think I had to running jump this. Yeah, I, I almost certainly did. Where are you? I, I know you're somewhere. Whatever, man. Nothing? Alright. Um, so now we're here. Climb up onto the stop and pull up onto the ledge above. So we're going back to where switch number two was. Uh, oh, we're pulling switch number two again. Okay. Cool, I guess. Wouldn't have thought to do that, I won't lie to you. Yet again, I, I'm fully, fully, like, admitting I would be probably a lot more stumped on this, uh, like, sequence of events had I not had the guide to reference. So. Okay, so now. Um. Now we're going back down. Yes. Ba boom. Okay, and let's make sure we don't die. Okay, that was a very good, good, uh, <laughs> a good little thing to check for. Um, okay, so we're probably just going over here, I'd imagine. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so we're going to another switch. Uh, to get there, blah, 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 blah. Um, do I have to jump on that? I'm actually confused. Uh, so, Stella says we're going to go to the edge and take one step back. And then standing jump. Okay. Yep, sure enough. Um. Oh, these are monkey bar things. Okay. I thought this was a bridge. I guess it's a bridge in a, in a way, just not the way I expected. Oh, thank God those wasps aren't bugging me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> thank God. <laughs> okay, I, I don't I don't know what's wrong with my brain anymore. It's been a minute since I saved. But at the same time, this hasn't been an especially difficult sequence of things to do. And if I redid it, it would give me an excuse to miss like to avoid triggering the wasps. Wasps. Uh okay, so now that ledge this ledge right here just opened up, it looks like. Um, um do, 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 do. So we gotta go back. We're ignoring this ledge, it looks like. We're going back to the uh, this ledge. And uh, now what? After that, turn to face turn left to face the cracked wall containing the wasp pipe. They take a standing jump with action to land safely in the pool below. Oh ho, that's what you're supposed to do. Gotta be honest, would not have even thought... Actually, I, I, might, I might have thought to do that, actually. I won't lie to you. That could have occurred to me. Um, Actually, no, it doesn't... Look, it would not have. I would have expected that to be unreachable. We're back to now saying I would not have done this, but whatever. Alright. Never would have expected that to have worked. So that was a roller coaster ride of expectations. Um, now what? Climb out of the water and approach the double doors. If you didn't trigger the wasp hive earlier, whatever. Uh, were there double doors that were open? I don't... Oh, they're right there. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, so she recommends jumping over this string of land just to avoid setting off wasps again. But whatever. Uh, follow the hallway into the next room. Uh, oh, Jesus. I just looked ahead. That the final secret in the game is quite challenging. It requires a fairly complicated time to run. Okay, we are so saving before it. Anyways. Um, 
<sighs> Sorry, I'm just... Jump over the line, blah, blah, blah. Room is shallow, pools, and second you the key. Okay, that's where we are. So it's a little bit before the secret number three room. As you move out into the middle of the room, more giant wasps begin to emerge. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Um, what if I don't want to bother? Whatever. This room seems like a gauntlet of attacks, so we're going to just save right now. I cannot believe I might actually legitimately use all my save crystals. Oh my god, what a game this is. I cannot believe I will actually potentially use all my save crystals. Whatever. Um, It kind of feels like this is just going to be a combat gauntlet right now. So, in the spirit of combat gauntlets, let's bust out the Uzis, because if not now, literally when? Quite literally, oh god. Yeah, I said the the first game had, why can't I move? Can I, can I, okay. I was, I was just going to say, I mentioned how the first game had a dinosaur, this game had a dinosaur. I totally forgot about it, but it totally did. Totally. All right, um, so where are the enemies is my question. Okay. Apparently there's mutants in this area I need to find, so I want to find them first. Just so they don't sneak the fuck up on me. I say they're probably right about to. Where, where, where are the mutants? I, I, I've been told that they exist and are real. And I'm starting to question both of the... Okay, there they, there you are. Jesus. See, I knew they would sneak up on me. Fuck, stop targeting the wasp. Ugh, for fuck. Oh, I'm out of... I'm already out of Uzis? Really? MP5, save me. Okay. Well, MP5 has more ammo and is apparently stronger, so... Let's put our faith in it. Where is the last mutant? I would like to know. Is it is it just is it hidden to all of time and history? Allegedly it should be like right here. Here. Oh god. Do you mind? Okay. So, it should be... That's the one I just killed, I think. Where's this? Where's the first one? Oh, my God. Okay. Allegedly, it should be in this alcove. Over here. I think. This certainly looks unexplored. I see it. Maybe not the corridor I want to be trapped in. Well, let's heal before I die. Uh, this guy's on my ass. I just realized how similar this thing looks to just the alien. From 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 obviously Alien vs. Predator. The the, the the series that invented it, you know. I'm sure someone's gonna take me seriously. Now that I've said that, they won't, but they should, because I clearly meant it. I actually did know about Alien vs. Predator before I knew about the Alien series. Does that bother you, hypothetical guy? Um, okay, I, I, I'm not going to worry about the wasps. What else do you want me to do? Once you've cleared the room, head for the corner beyond the deep pool. Uh, 
I think it's this one. It looks like this corner. Yeah, allegedly there's a key there. Did you see the key when I went over here the first time? Because I did. I was just testing you. <laughs> Whatever. Um, then cross the room to the opposite corner and there's a ladder. I saw the ladder, so... Yeah, I guess we're climbing it. I mean, what else would you do with a ladder? Fuck it. I'd fuck it. <sighs> okay, ladder, ladder. Where are you? Here we go. Them's the bones and meats. I don't know what I just said. For fuck's sake. Climb and dismount on the left. We're very close to the end of this level. So I guess the end of the level is... Once I use the key, the beam of light will deactivate, it looks like. Oh, I have to press the switch, too. I was wondering what this was. I saw... I, every time we left one of the rooms, I saw this. I was wondering. I didn't say anything, but... I assumed it would be the exit for one of the, uh... One of the gauntlets, and it wasn't. So, I guess this explains it. Okay... So, theoretically now, we can finish the level. But, we do have one last thing to do, and it's the secret. Alright. Um, I need to know what we're doing first, and then where to do it. Okay, um... Okay, what... Switch number six. What? What the fuck? How did... Uh, it is so ungodly tempting to just say fuck it and not care. Oh, my God. What in fuck's cunt are we doing? I kind of want to watch a video. Let me just look at the screenshots first. Um, da -da -da -da. Sorry, I'm going to keep this in. So, switch six was on that thing I said that looked like a bridge, and it was, I think, is at the end of that on the top side. Um, yeah. Uh, so, the, so, that switch opens a door that closes after two minutes, so you, you have to hustle and sell his words. If you already pulled the switch, just wait out two minutes before the door closes. Uh, okay. Make sure Lara's health bar is at least half full and save me. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back to that area. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have to go back the way we came. Also, I'm not 100% convinced I am jumping onto this ladder. Oh my god, I did. I actually thought I was going to die. In real life. Alright, um... So we're going back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. Haven't used that one in forever. Actually, I probably used it recently. Um, where did I... I came from here. Do, 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 do. I should have used the MP5 more. I should have committed more crime. Whatever. So, I'm, I'm assuming Cella is going to have us fall from a relatively high place that will not kill us, but will take quite a bit of fall damage, hence why she said to be at full health or whatever. Or at least have more than half health. And I am so, so okay with that. In fact, I love her for... What? Why? Why? Uh, okay, I gotta pull switch three again, okay. I got worried for a second that it was gonna be like, oh, you just can't get it now. Whatever. Um, start by pulling switch in the lower level to raise ledge D, climb onto the block on the left side of switch three. 
So, well, I didn't realize that those blocks went back in. How did, you know, whatever. Maybe Switch 5 undid them. Let's, what? Uh. What? Oh. Oh, we're doing this again? Okay. Turn around, take a standing jump to D's, pull Switch 4, do not. Wait, oh, we're not pulling this. We're not pulling Switch 4. Never mind. Okay, so we're doing this. I see now. I see. I see the vision. So now we're just going to take a running jump to grab ledge half directly ahead. Okay. Wow, that did not look like we were going to make it. Turn around and pull straight up to grab the walkway above. Pull up once more. Cool. Okay. That is actually less tedious than I was expecting to get here. Alright, um... So, we are absolutely positively dropping a save here. The good news is the next secret has a save in it. I very much doubt I'm going to need two save crystals for the last level of the game. Especially because it looks like it's just a straight up boss level. And I am very much over prepared for it in terms of health kits and probably Desert Eagle Clips, considering I haven't touched the damn things. So, let me go through the exact path that Stella wants us to do. Also, I just realized I didn't check my health. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good. I would have been a little annoyed at myself if I saved at like a third health and I have to heal every attempt. Okay, let's see. Run out of the alcove. Um, as you land on the walkway below the raised block, side flip to the right to land on ledge D below, side flip to the right again. Let's just do this one at a time, actually. I don't need to read all of it right now. If nothing else, I might as well, since I can pause. Unless mysteriously pausing gets, like, yeah, okay. Uh, side flip to the right again to land on the rectangular stone ledge near the doorway. Then jump forward uh, to land in the doorway, losing a little bit of health in the process. Turn right to run through the big double doors. Um, all right. That is totally fine by me. Fuck. I was trying to sprint and I fucked it. Uh, okay. Sprint forward into the room with many shallow pools. Uh, then along the left side of the far right corner. So we're just going back to the ladder. Got it. Uh, excuse me. When your sprint bar runs out, take running jumps to cover the ground faster. All right, shit. I'm hoping Stella's route is so optimized that it's not even like gonna be close, but you do need to be fast. Okay. Um, once I dismount, I'm gonna pause so I can see. Uh, I, I I'm gonna see what we need to do. Uh, if you didn't open the gate earlier, you can use the switch to do so now. This takes a few seconds, but if you do everything else without hesitation, you should still have enough time. That sounds reassuring then. Uh, as you enter the Pillar of Light room, uh, yeah, we're running, run down the stairs. So we're going past the burners at the bottom. Uh, uh, here. I'm just looking. We go past the burners, run to the far end of the bridge, run off the right side. What? To land on the snowy block below. Step off the edge onto the snowbank below. Turn right to... Oh my god. Okay, fuck. <sighs> Son of a... Hopefully we've been doing well. I feel like we have. It definitely feels like we're doing well. Enough on time at least. It's hard to really gauge, though. <sighs> okay. I'm so shocked I didn't... I didn't fuck that up. Okay. Uh, I need to scroll up real quick. Oh, I'm a little too far. I'm a little too far. We're gonna be right over here. Okay. 
Oh my god. I cannot believe I did not die. So then turn right. Fuck. There we go, baby. Hurry before the door. Why are you not walking? Okay. There we go. Okay. We did it. Uh, so there's a Desert Eagle Clip and Large Medi Pack in here. And there's a switch in case the door shuts on us. Hooray! Last secret of the game, everyone. We did it. Um, there we go. Hooray! And that's the end of the level, by the way, because, well, not really. I have to get back to the end, but it's functionally the end. Do you mind? Thank you. Well, I'm happy. Oh my god! <laughs> the the fucking like the 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 shock I had when I thought the switch just doesn't fucking work anymore. Oh my god, that was I thought for sure the switch was just gonna not work and I would be like forever stuck with an imperfect file because it's be like okay guys i got the final secret but i don't technically have it anymore because i have to reload or something like a two meter one situation which if that had happened i wouldn't have even really been that bothered or anything it's just it would have been funny uh it would have been so fucking funny i would have merged without looking anyways uh yeah so this is this is functionally this is functionally the last like sequence of platforming i think because i did peek ahead as i've said the, the last level is just a boss level um i am most certainly just going to finish recording that right now i don't know if it's going to be a separate segment though i won't lie to you i do not know that for sure right now uh how am i supposed to jump back on here uh what a great question i don't really know it kind of looks like i should just running jump on here but i don't know if that works yeah, I definitely can't do that. I'm I'm a little hesitant about this. I won't lie to you guys. I will not lie to you. Okay. Um I guess the good news is it doesn't look like fall damage kills you, but I don't especially know what I'm doing. Cause Stella's very like she's just like, ah, you'll figure it out. Maybe I have to do this. Okay. And then... Okay, okay, never mind. I was overthinking it. Definitely overthinking it. Alright, uh, last thing to do is just not hit the burners. What a sad state of affairs it would be if I did. Uh, so. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure how long the next section is going to take. I'm assuming I'll probably add it to the end of this current segment, but I really don't know. Like, because for all I know, the ending could be, like, forever and a day. Probably not, because I, I played Tomb Raider 1 and 2. Those endings aren't especially long. But, <laughs> I don't know. And then there's no secret, like, hidden final level, I think. I think. I think. I, I Maybe there is and I forgot, but... Whatever. End of level. Yippee. Oh my god, I didn't realize I could have... I could have taken fall damage and died. Wow. That was reckless, but... Whatever. Oh my god. Oh. We're almost there. Uh. I, uh... Need to see this cutscene's uh, transcript. So there's Willard putting the final piece, uh, arranging the meteorite artifacts. Uh, he puts the final piece in place. The entire room begins to shake. Lara's knocked off the ledge onto the walkway below. There's some garbled dialogue <laughs> made up of snippets from earlier cinematics, which I have not attempted to transcribe. If Willard notices Lara, he doesn't let on at first. Is that he stands, arms spread, laughing, and watches as a huge meteor rises up from the central crater. Uh, he glances back at Lara. Alright, let me wait for it to hurry up first. Like, 
Let's see what happens first. Because I, I just read what happens. But I don't want to spoil it. And he's uh, looking back at us. And he throws himself into the blue liquid, the life stream, beneath the hovering meteor. Lark gasps and rushes forward to peer into the crater. Assuming that's it for the Mad Doctor, she... What the fuck? Okay, I guess he's changed into a huge spider-like mutant. Alright. Hello, uh, what's his name from Resident Evil 4? All right. Do I get to save, by the way? Do I get to? Okay, I do. <laughs> I would like to save before before we do all this. Um, I should split the segment now, so that way it's easier to figure out what I'm doing. So yeah, let me let me do that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.